to that ABC News exclusive, why we're here in California tonight. Just take a look at this giant white building right behind me. It was here on a stage back in 1984. Steve Jobs introduced the world to the Mac. 30 years later, tonight, what millions of Apple fans around the world have been waiting for, the Apple Watch. Apple sending that global invite saying, wish we could tell you more, and tonight they have, allowing us backstage with them. Apple CEO Tim Cook telling me they weren't the first to come out with a watch, but he says, remember, they weren't the first when they delivered that iPod, which revolutionized music. Tonight here, backstage with Tim Cook. Apple CEO Tim Cook hey, backstage. How are you? I'm glad you're here. After perhaps the biggest moment of his career as the head of Apple. She was blowing. We have one more thing. Just moments before, Cook unveiling the Apple Watch, the company's first brand new product in four years. And we were right there in the hall. There had long been questions about when Apple would innovate again, introduce its next product. And tonight, they have. Tim Cook backstage with his own Apple Watch. Can I see yours? You can see it. It's, it's unbelievable. The Apple Watch will start at $349. It'll be available early next year. And it comes in stainless steel, aluminum, 18 karat gold. Apple tonight promising it will help you in your everyday life, fitness, health, tracking your vital signs, even your blood pressure, your heartbeat. Are you closer to your goal? Very close. Right now we only did 50 seconds of running. Um, 50 seconds. You've, you've burned five calories. Five calories in just five seconds. <laughs> You're so. off to a great start. Calorie a second. <laughs> okay, I'm ready. They allow me to try on an Apple Watch myself. And it shows you when you turn it on in the morning where you are in the world. It's but literally when you wake up, it shows you where you are in the globe. You can set it to do that, absolutely. And there is something else it can do, because today, Apple announced like Apple Pay. You. you can hold your iPhone or your Apple Watch at the checkout. No credit card needed. There were a lot of people who said, Tim Cook is gonna walk onto that stage and kill the credit card. <laughs> Did you? I think that we uh, put a dagger in it. You basically carry your life around on your wrist, your, your payment information, your heart rate, your pulse, and a lot of people at home are going to wonder how safe is it? It's incredibly safe. I think we are establishing a new bar. When you see celebrities get their photos hacked, yeah. people think, well, these are famous people, and if they're not protected, then, then what about us? I feel uh, in incredibly certain that it's very secure, the most secure thing out there. And tonight here, the first tweet ever from an Apple Watch. So here's how the voice activated Twitter will work. You just hit the microphone here. How fun to send the first tweet ever from an Apple Watch, period. See you tonight, period. And before we left, one last question for Tim Cook. A lot of our viewers are gonna want me to ask this question. Is Made in America still important to you? It's critically important. In, in fact, between the watch and the iPhones that you've seen, uh, we will have uh, parts or materials or equipment made in 22 of the 50 states. That will go into the Apple Watch. That are going into either the watch or the phone. 22 out of 50.